Hello Hacienda La Puente, this is Ricardo, one of your Tech Tosas, and today we are going to talk about exam view, and this applies for any teacher that has a textbook where the publisher provides exam view along with question banks to create your own test. Having the ability to take these question banks and import into Canvas allows you to use the same questions from the publisher inside of Canvas to create a quiz. So the first thing um, that you must find out is if you in fact have the ability um, or, or if your publisher has the um, exam view question banks for your particular textbook. Uh, for this particular video, I'm going to use Sabbath, which is um, social science for our high schools, because I know that in fact, they do have this. Okay, in the link below um, on YouTube, I'm going to provide the instructions on how to download the exam view for uh, Realize. So if you are a social science teacher, you will be able to download it. Now, however, you cannot download this app if you are using a district device, uh, you will need to put in a hit ticket and you will have to have NCS remotely install the app. But once you have it, what I want you to see is that once you have installed it, you are going to be able to use exam view. And now I'm going to have the ability to open an existing question bank. And for this particular uh, video, I'm using Pearson's uh, world history. So notice that I have every single test bank for that particular publisher uh, publisher so everything is in here so i'm going to show you how you can use this and take it into canvas okay i'm um, going back to how how to install the um the exam view again for sabbath social science we have the instructions on the link below and once you have done it you will notice that it's going to give you some instructions and you actually can download the um exam view along with the test bank for the particular uh, book that you are using, you know, whether it be American government, um, history, uh, US history, the modern world, and so on and so on. I already have it. Uh, I have already downloaded the app. And now I have my banks right here. So let's say that I wanted to use the test banks for uh, topic one, I'm going to open that. And it's going to give me everything that I might need. Notice that we have the entire test right here. Okay, so let's say that I wanted to use this particular one, okay? Um, what I can do is I can go up here to file and I can say export. And when I go to export, you notice that I have a lot of options right here. Um, Angel 7.4, Blackboard, Canvas, and so on and so on, okay? Moodle, but we are using Canvas, okay? So um, I've seen the Angel one work, but also the Canvas, so I'm going to go to Canvas. So let's go ahead and click that one, okay? Uh, and then we're going to basically save it. So I want to give it the same name that I had before. Topic 01. Just so I remember, okay? And um, I can put it anywhere for this particular one. I'm just going to put it on my desktop, okay? And I'm going to save it. Okay? Over here, it's going to ask you for some information. Okay? So I'm just going to put Ricardo. Okay? I can give a description. Over here, the formatting, uh, it gives you options. If you wanted to change anything, um, I wouldn't change anything. And then uh, select a name that it is, uh, again, unique. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, World History Topic 1. Okay. And let's go ahead and say OK. So it's exporting. Okay, and then you will find out that if you decided to put it on your desktop, um, I have it right here. Okay, topic one, just so you know. Okay, you don't have to worry about anything that is in that file. Okay, you won't be able to open that file. But now if I go to Canvas, okay, and I'm going to go to Canvas right now. And let's say that I wanted to go into one of my classes. Okay, I'm just going to go into my class. I will highly recommend that you maybe use a sandbox to do this. But if you want to go and put it it directly into your course, you can do that. Let's go to settings. Okay, now I want to import course content because I'm bringing it in. Okay, I'm going to select a type. Okay, and then over here, you have a lot of different options. Okay, so let's go ahead and use the, um, let's use the um, 
canvas course export um, export package hopefully this is the one choose file let's go ahead and find it it was on our desktop if you remember let's go ahead and grab that okay and then um all content okay you can do specific but i'm just gonna um, uh specific but i'm just gonna do all content let's go ahead and try this okay so notice that it's saying uh topic one zip it's actually on queue right now but eventually it's going to go through so let's go ahead and give it some time depending on your computer you will see that now it's completed i've uh, import the um, item bank and now if i go to quizzes just to show you okay and i can create my test right here but what i want you to see is that if i go to my three dots to the right and i go to manage question banks okay now i have something that is called ricardo okay and then here i have 25 questions and these are the questions that i actually brought in if you remember from our um pearson exam view so the same questions now have become part of my question bank where i can decide if i want to just use all the questions and maybe or maybe a couple of questions to create my final exam or any particular test that i want to create if you have any questions please contact any of your tech tosas have a great day